I'm Leo Darling, and I'm reading for Norman in Psycho. Hello, my name is Tyler Lee, and I've been reading for Arbogast. You said she was sitting back there, rather, or rather, standing. Oh, my private parlor. She had an awful hunger, so I made her some supper, and then she went to bed and left in the morning. I didn't even see her leave. How did she pay you? What? Cash or check? Um, for the cabin? Cash. And she left and never came back? Why would she? I'm sorry, I have work to do, uh, Mr. If you don't mind. You see, I do mind. If it don't gel, ain't aspect, and this ain't gelling. I don't know what you expect me to know about. People come and go. Jason's still here, is she? Not at all. Now, um, suppose I want to search the cabins, uh, all 12. Would I need a warrant for that? Look. If you won't believe me, go ahead. If you can help me make you you can help me make the beds if you like. Uh, come on. <laughs> Change your mind. I guess I've got one of those faces you can't help believing. Is anyone at home? I live there alone. And that's funny you say that because someone is sitting in that window. That's my mother. Um, she's ill, confined to a room. It's practically like living alone. If this girl, Mayor Crane, were here, you have no reason to hide her, correct? Of course not. Even if she paid you. Now look. <laughs> or she had you say, gallantly protecting her, you wouldn't be fooled. You know that she would just be using you, wouldn't you? I'm not a fool, and I'm not capable of being fooled, not even by women. Look, I didn't mean that. That's a slur on your manhood, all right? I'm sorry if you're offended. That's all right. Maybe she could have fooled me, but she didn't fool mother. You, your mother met her? Can I talk to your mother? No, I told you, she's confined. Look, just for a moment, she might have picked up a hint you missed. Sick old woman are sharp, you see. Come on, I won't be disturbed. No, just no. I have one of those breaking points like any other man, believe it or not, and I'm near it. There's just so much pushing I can take, and I think... Uh, all right, all right, calm down. Might save me some leg work if I could just talk to your mother, but I need a warrant for that, right? You said she was sitting back there or standing right there? Oh, my private parlor. She had an awful hunger, so I made her some supper and then she went to bed and left in the morning. I didn't even see her leave. How did she pay you? What? Cash or check for the cabin? Cash, of course. And when she left, she never came back. Why would she? I'm, I'm sorry. I have work to do, Mr. Uh, if you don't mind. Well, you see, I do mind. If it don't gel, it ain't aspect. This ain't gelling. Don't know what you expect me to know about. 
people come and they go. And she isn't still here, is she? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Suppose I want to search the cabin, R12. Would I need a warrant for that? Look, if you won't believe me, go ahead. You can help me make beds if you like. <laughs> Come on. It's not Change funny. your mind? I I guess I've got one of those faces you can't help believing. You know when at home? I, I live there. Alone. Well, you see Sona sitting out that window. I think you're lying to me. It's actually, I'm sorry, it's, that's my mother. Um, she's, she's ill. Confined to her room. It's, it's practically like living alone. Mm. So if this girl Mary Crane were here, you have no reason to hide her, would you? Of course not. No. Even if she paid you well. Now look. I... <laughs> or if she said had, you know, downly protecting her, you wouldn't be fooled. You know she was just using you, wouldn't you? Now I'm I'm not a fool. And I'm not capable of being fooled, not even by women. Ah. Uh. I didn't mean that as a slur on your manhood. I'm sorry, young man. That's all right. Maybe she could have fooled me, but <laughs> she didn't fool mother. Your mother met her? Can I talk to your mother? No. I told you, she's confined. Just look, I'm just going to speak to her for a moment. She might have picked up some hints you may have missed. Sick old women are sharp, you see. Come on now, I won't be disturbed. No, just no. I have one of those breaking points like any other man, believe it or not, and I'm near it. There's just so much pushing I can take, and I think, I think. All right, all right, all right, all right. Might save me a lot of work if I could just talk to your mother. But I need a warrant for that, won't I? 